Hi, this is Vicky here from BookTook, where I introduce you to the finest books and transcriptional ideas from world-class thinkers, experts, and achievers. In less than five minutes, you get to learn what others may have taken months, years, or even a lifetime. Today, we'll know about how to have a really good day. Now, what do we mean by that? When do you have a good day? How getting more of what you want out of a day? Sounds like a plan? Let's get started. Today we are reviewing a brilliantly useful book called How to Have a Good Day. This book is filled with tactics from behavioral science about, you guessed it, how to make most of your day. And once we get the day right, weeks, months and years take care of themselves. This book is written by Caroline Webb who is an executive coach. She has devoted a major part of her career to understand what it takes to flourish at work, both mentally and emotionally. The result is condensed in her book. Every piece of advice in this book is backed up by rigorous scientific evidence from psychology, behavioral economics, and neuroscience. In a study done by Harvard's Mutual Attention Lab, it asked some experienced radiologists to look closely at a bunch of lung scan images to spot abnormalities. Now, some of these scans sadly had genuine abnormal tissues, but the last image was different. It showed a picture of a gorilla inserted inside the lung. You heard that right. Here is the picture. Astonishingly, 83% of the radiologists failed to spot the gorilla. Even more remarkable is the fact that the Harvard researchers used an eye-tracking device that showed that most of the radiologists looked directly at the gorilla and yet they still didn't notice it. It's not that they saw and forgot about it. Their brain simply didn't consciously register the ape. This is what scientists call inattentional blindness. That is, we see what we have decided merits our attention and we are remarkably blind to the rest. So the priorities and expectations we set for ourselves really matter. Reality is too complex to debate about who sees the whole of it. The question that should concern us, the utility of what we are seeing. Even our attitude can play a part in setting the perceptual filters we apply to the day. As per a research at Stanford, an experiment was designed to put volunteers into a slightly good or bad mood by giving them a random positive or negative feedback about their performance on a test that they had just taken irrespective of how they did on the test. After that, the volunteers were given some descriptions of fictional people to read. Those descriptions were carefully calibrated to be neutral. The volunteers could easily interpret the subjects as being energetic or chaotic, calm or boring, depending upon their reading of the text. What did the experiment reveal? Volunteers who were happier were significantly more likely to see the people described in a positive light compared with the volunteers they had deliberately primed for negative mood. That's how your filter, mood or mindset impacts how you see and feel about your day. This is an astonishing fact that most people fail to realize and even if they realize they don't make it work for them to have experiences they want to have. We can't control everything that happens to us during the day, but we can tweak the way our working hours feel by being more deliberate in setting up perceptual filters. And that's where it helps to have an intention setting routine, one that has us pay attention to the priorities, concerns and moods we're carrying into the day. How do you do it? Aim. Think about each of the most important of today's activities. The people you'll meet, the work you will do, what really matters most in making them a success. That's your real aim. Suppose you have to meet somebody and develop a good bond with them. Second point is attitude. 
as you think about the upcoming work day take a moment to notice and acknowledge the concerns that are dominating your thoughts or your mood do these concerns help you achieve your real aim and if not can you set them aside for now in the example i mentioned keeping your mind open to what are the qualities that you appreciate in the person you are meeting will naturally make you behave in ways that makes good impression and basis of building a bond third aspect is about attention given your real priorities where do you want your focus your attention figure out what you want to see more of and then make sure you look out for it it's ideal to think about these questions before the day gets underway either in the morning or even the night before doing this will prime you to make most of your day second technique is to make your intentions positive continuing with the example of meeting this person let's say this guy is going to be a new boss you might have heard some gossip about him do these thoughts playing in your mind uh will help to start on the right foot with him no it won't understand people have their own reasons to say things they say kill boredom look cool and build alliances with you but if it does not help you in your aim may having a sarcastic mindset will never get you that moment to bond with your new boss just noticing whenever we are feeling attached to a negative expectation about a situation or a person recognize that our attachment may cause us to filter out any evidence to the contrary so to have a good day decide in advance what what kind of mood and mindsets you need to carry once this is clear it's about aim attitude and assumptions keep them in sync and not leave them to someone or some situation to frame that for you take back control hope you found this useful do like share and subscribe and we will continue this quest to learn from the best till then have fun and be limitless